Now your calendar is set up with the defaults that may or may not work for you. For example, in my month view, I've got a default of Monday as the first day of the week. I'd like to change that to Sunday. For my week view, I have the showing work week as Monday through Friday. What if I work Tuesday through Saturday or I work a six day week Monday through Saturday? I want to change this here so it includes Saturday. Also, it's got my working hours from 8 to 5 p.m. How do you know? Well, scroll up and you can see that anything that's shaded in light blue are your off hours. Anything in white are your working hours. So scroll down and you can see that it ends at 5 o'clock. You can also see this in your day view as well. 8 to 5. Now if you want to be able to change that and say your working hours, the hours that you want in white, not shaded, let's say from 9 to 6, we can change that as well. It's really simple. Come up here, click on the Tools menu, go down to Options. On the Preferences tab, click on the Calendar Options button. And we're looking up here in the Calendar Work Week. First of all, the first day of the week is Monday. I want to change that to Sunday. It shifts the boxes around. And then I'm working a Tuesday, so I'll uncheck Monday, through Saturday. And my start time is going to be from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, in addition to this, you have a few more options down below, including using this response when you propose new meeting times. Do you recall in the Outlook Level 1 training video how when we proposed a new time, the default was is to schedule it on your calendar anyways? That's what Tentative does. Anytime you propose a new time, you want to decline it, you don't want it scheduled on your calendar by default, you can click on the drop down arrow and just say decline every time. In any case, I'll change that back. You also have an add holidays button, where in the United States we have Christmas, Thanksgiving. If you want to be able to add those holidays instead of manually scheduling it in your calendar, just click on the button here. By default, it has the US checked, or uncheck that and choose another country, and then click OK. If it's already been installed, just go ahead and click Yes if you want to reinstall it in case if you deleted some of the holidays by accident, and click Yes. And then give it a second or two for it to install the holidays. When it's finished, go ahead and click OK, click OK again, click OK a third time, and let's take a look at the changes that we made. First of all, in the day view here, you can see that my working days are Tuesday through Saturday. I'm looking at Monday, and everything's shaded out. That's a non-working day. So if I go ahead and I advance one day forward to Tuesday, you can see that I've got some white here. Those are my on hours. And instead of being from 8 to 5, you can see it's from 9 all the way down to 6 o'clock. Those are my working hours. And of course, anything shaded are my off hours. Let's go to the week view. Now showing my work week, instead of Monday through Friday, it's now Tuesday through Saturday. Cool. And then going to my month view, instead of Monday being the first day of the week, it's now Sunday, then all the way to Saturday. And then looking down the calendar, you can see that I got my holidays added. There's Mother's Day, Memorial Day. You can double click and open them up here, maximize it. There it is. It's marked as a holiday. It's Memorial Day. Location is the U.S. Close out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.